也趣味的。Hello everyone and welcome back to the Limit of Adhesion for Season Sprint. What <laughs> for Sprint Season One, Race Two or Race Three? In fact, Round Two. And today we are in Germany. We're at the Nurburgring, not the Nordschleife, just the GP layout with the fast chicane rather than the slow chicane. And joining me in comms once again is Jules. Jules, how are you doing? Good, good. I mean, how many laps would they do if we did the whole Nordschleife? It's like 45 minutes. One. They'd like, they would do a single lap. They'd get like maybe four in. <laughs> Bold of you to assume that we would survive. Uh, I'm sure some people know how to drive that track. Yeah, true. Yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly, I have never turned a lap at uh, the Nords. Don't even own it. You? No. Okay, that surprises me with your endurance fetish. No, nope. not playing. Not playing that game. Not interested. <laughs> Silly trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but would you go and watch the racer? Yes. There you go. To be fair, though, I don't know because like a lot of the the kind of the viewer experience is about being able to see what's going on, right? And there's so many sections in the forest that they can't televise because there's no signal in that. So I'm not sure it is the best race to uh, to watch. Maybe just watch it from this bit. From the, uh, yeah, true. the <laughs> bottom bit. Or just stand on the, you know when they first turn off onto the notch, like just stand there with a the high vis vest on and a sign saying turn this way instead. And then yeah. just make them do the GP loop for 24 hours. <laughs> so we've got ridiculous so, points in this round because it's just one race, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. So it's the long 45-minute uh, race tonight. Um, so first place is scoring three times as much as when we do the 15-minute three-lap races next time out. So yeah, some big points on offer tonight. Looking towards the points, the championship standings after round one. So it's Mike Murphy leading the way from the back in second. David Ward in third, and Clayton Bullard great start for him in fourth. And ben, ben Galcraft as well in fifth there. The second Lama in Daniel Bond is in sixth right now. In his seventh, Tyler Graf in eighth, Maxwell and Chris White round out the top ten. Gavin Kelly leading the way in bronze, and in fact his uh, nearest rival isn't on that first top twenty, which means he's there in P23. Is there anyone jumping out at you so far as a um, sort of a surprise where they are in standards, either up or down? I think Kelly's a bit higher than we expected, um, but from that, was it White that's leading the silver, or is that? Uh... No, that'll be Mike Smurphy. Ah, uh, Mike Smurphy. Leading so, the entire way. So White is second. Uh, no, silver. Ben Chalcroft was in fifth there. So I, I can't even see that. But we have Stupid Gary <laughs> on top, followed by the new animal in the league, the Lama. Currently double the points of the camel. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, camel and his humps is not resulting in, uh, <laughs> in points right at the minute. So the, the phoenix of... Stupiguri has, has revived so far this season. It has, yes, yes. Arisen from the flame. <laughs> yes, the flame of many seasons. <laughs> so 16 teams on the grid so far. We've got a lot of new faces joining us uh, for the race tonight, and there is one of them in P2 there, John Brown, but it's David Ward who will collect the qualifying point for pole position. John Cook, his teammate, will be in third behind John there, and Neil Stevenson, another new name, so welcome to you guys. A few of those as we go. It's Murphy in fifth, Joao, Tomei in sixth, Stuart Gibbons, and Derek Browder on deck in eighth. Yep, eighth. <laughs> I've got some glare on my screen. I couldn't see the number. Michael Hansvik in ninth. Green in. Welcome back to Green in in tenth. Round out the top ten. In this there in eleventh. Daniel Bond in twelfth. Chalkraft thirteen. Park away down in fourteenth. There in sixth. Blake Fuller as well. So I'd like to know the stories of the Burke up there qualifying. Mark Kelly in sixteenth. Mike Murphy. Also way down, so what on earth is happening towards the top of the championship there, minus David Ward. Uh, it's Gary Kelly rounding out the, or taking the bronze pole position there. And then you can see the rest of them on the screen, Kev Eilert, Scott Malcolm, you know, more new faces. Again, a new year, anyone standing out for you there, Jules? Well, yeah, Smurphy's, on, uh, you said Smurphy, Clayton and Parker all fighting at the top last race. Uh, kind of qualifying the top of the mid-grid at the moment. Um, yeah. It seems uh, We'll see how they go next race, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a blip. But obviously, there's a lot of drivers here, new ones from SRL. Uh, and it looks like we've boosted the grid by about 10, so about 10 more drivers than we had last uh, race. We're pushing 40 cars now on the TCR yeah, grid, absolutely. on the sprint grid. And I wonder if that's sort of led towards some of the qualifying woes for the guys that we didn't see towards the front last time. It was a, a busy track, see 40 cars on the grid, 
I'm not sure if we've got one more to round it out as well. Oh, we yeah, do, 41. yeah. So Chris Barnes there and, uh, did not qualify in P41. So 41 cars, it's not the biggest of tracks despite being a GP track, is it? So I wonder if a few people have maybe got tripped up along the way. Quite possibly, yes. Wow. There we go then, turning our attention to the grid. <laughs> Can't even see them in the distance back there. So many cars. <laughs> Lights are on. It says green, but no one's rolling. Now we're rolling, let's oh, go. Oh, so that's right there. It did not move. It didn't, you're right, he's dropping back. He's going to be maybe P5 or P6 by the time we get into the first corner. So it's John Brown going to lead them into the way with four or five wide towards the back here. And is everyone going to get through clean? It looks like it so far and I can't hear any scraping of metal or banging of doors so far. So nice and clean from everyone. Oh, I spoke too soon. There's one round, there's two round. I think the first one managed to straighten it up, but someone's been spat off to drivers left there in the background. The rest of them look to be continuing through with two abreast pretty much the entire pack as we go into the sort of second half of this first complex here. Ah, oh, the Nürburgring. Oh, Chris got White's got a meatball. Not good for him. So barreling down the hill towards the Dunlop hairpin. I think every every corner on this uh, on this track is sponsored, is it not? So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've got it as Dunlop Curve, but obviously it's not a curve, it's the hairpin. <laughs> Indeed. Just stick a, stick a quid in the jar every time we get the uh, the name wrong of, of a corner here, I think, tonight. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do that, be a millionaire. So everyone's barreling down, we've got a replay here, bottom left, looks like there's more carnage there, that was uh, in the Valvoline Curve. Uh, yeah, there was a bit of a as well. car park really there. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of cars required to slam the brakes on. Maybe some of them not quite getting there in time. It looked like there was a McLaren was one of the worst victims of that. And uh, Murphy says Smeg on the side of his helmet, so shout out to Reese Crichton. <laughs> Speaking of, here he is on screen. Well, of course, because that's why his helmet's on the bottom left, but he's uh, rocking the sixth place right now. So he has actually dropped a position as well from the start, so there have been a few moves and shakers. David Warden sort of dropped down to fifth. I think he probably was behind Murphy going through the first corner, but I wonder if uh, Ward's probably got straight back past him there. In the second sector. Look at all these cars. It's great. It's great to see such a full grid, and there's no gap really between fourth and. Well, okay, it's, it cuts off at ninth and it goes to 18th, but look, the, the infills are all tiny. And it looks like Murphy's yeah. in the pit lane for some reason. Is that championship leading Murphy or is that Civic Alex Murphy? That's uh, Alex Murphy. Um, as I understand, sh you should be able to pit from the end of lap one and, and refuel and make it to the end. Uh, but the rules say you have to do a pit stop in this race, that's right? Well, not even the rules, I think just the fuel. Very well, you can't make it. Oh, okay, fair enough. There's an apology here. Uh, oh, was a, bit a kiss. Of a kiss from D1. So that was uh, Parker into Bull. Uh, Clayton. Yeah. yeah. Keeps it straight though, so hopefully no harm, no foul. There's a bit of a bump there between a wizard and a phoenix. Uh, stupid Aguri. Oh, like good mate. Uh, Biff Kelly a little bit wide there. Well, they just uh, responding there to whatever Parker said before. It was just an exchange of apologies. And here is Kelly then, so leading the bronze again. This round who's Philip Miles in P24. So, only, yeah, a couple of positions behind. But yeah, so the fuel, I think. Um, the tank lasts about 25 minutes, doesn't it? It's a 45 minute race, so it's not even sort of forced through the rules to have a pit stop. It's just like you will not get to the end without the pit stop. So, yeah, the tank size has not been limited. So, like you say, you could in theory pit on How's the my rear looking, Clayton? 40 minutes or 42 minutes worth of fuel in if you wanted to, or you could run the first tank dry and then just put the, uh, the remainder in from there. So, to how you want to split the strategy. So, Murphy, you just put it's quite high up, so surprised to see him back so early, to be fair. Yeah, it's 40th now. Is that him? I think that's him on the track map. Right, thank you. Oh, a bit of a sideways moment there. I think that was Dan LaHaye getting it a bit sideways in the hairpin. Yeah. Like he got T-boned by someone. So yeah, so the early pit for Murphy will it'll put him to the back of the grid, won't it? Like we saw a couple of incidents in the first lap. His pack has got a very crooked nose there on that Audi. Must be from that contact in T1. Um, yeah, so Murphy will be uh, will be at the back, even probably behind the spinners. So, but it's also some fresh air. Let's see what it can do with it. Yeah, I imagine that's the thinking, is running in clean air rather than cooking your tyres following a train in cars that are quite difficult to overtake in. Yeah, and that does seem to be one of the things that affects, doesn't it, when you are tucked up behind Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh dear, that's a shame. Just lost it into the into the 
cold hard face of the pit entry. Oh, there's another spin in the background as well. Is that Todd maybe going off in the background? Oh god, that was a real check up. That was a hard hit as well. That always scares me every year watching the uh, the Indy 500. The fact the pit wall is just like a, a concrete slab. <laughs> In fact, wait, I think it was a couple of years someone did go into it, didn't they, in the race sideways? I can't remember who it was, but yeah, that was a huge hit there. So, so turning our attentions to championship leader going into this, so down in 13th, he's actually third in silver as well, so uh, yeah, Murphy's got a lot of work to do if he's going to maintain his lead in, well, both the overall championship and the silver championship at this point. I can't remember off the top of my head where Chalcraft, remember in his had a good round because we were talking about it, weren't we, in, uh, in race two? Yeah, well been doing. He did. He has made up four places already, though, so he's made progress. He's moving forwards. If that's pace or, or victims, we saw a, <laughs> a few spinners lap one sort of getting spat out here and there. He's got uh, there's Maxwell at the inside of Kelly there. Some nice racing we've given him. Maxwell's going to get on traction. Kelly runs a little bit wide as well there, actually. So it's going to be the, the battle of Kelly's. Oh, in fact, three wide behind there. There's uh, Kelly on the inside. We've got Shepard and McIntyre going on those three wide into the shell curve is that one should be a shell s i guess it's a double curve <laughs> yes staying side by side towards what i've got down as rtl curve we, we <laughs> realized uh, before the race here that we've uh, we've got different names on our track maps between me and jules so add to the confusion you're welcome oh uh, yeah people change corner names don't tell us blame the sponsors indeed so we're sure out here P7, that's a good start for him so far. I think he got involved in a couple of incidents, didn't he, at Philly Island. Maybe didn't have the best round, but yeah, it's a strong showing for him here. That's his lap for Brown. There's Stevenson, Stevenson following him, just about a second behind. Uh, he's also yeah, from the new league, isn't he? From the, yes, uh, sorry, yeah, absolutely. Not the new league, he's a new driver from that other league, because it looks like Don wants to get that nose fixed. Yeah, absolutely. Someone Damage. called a plastic surgeon, that's... Uh, Need a bit of a stitch up job there, a bit of a repair work. Someone's let a cat in the commentary box at my so uh, you can hear that. We'll call it the commentary mascot. So, yeah, Innis leading Silver, then Kelly's still leading Bron. Uh, John Brown, yeah, fastest lap. We've seen that pop a couple of times, so he's starting to open that gap on Stevenson there in second. Stu Gibbons just behind Stevenson, about second. David, David Ward, Ward is really right up behind here. Yeah, 100%. I mean, Based on qualifying, you kind of that dictates that David Ward is the fastest car here tonight. You'd have to say. Um, obviously, you don't know if everyone's managed to get the lap together, but based on qualifying result, at least David is. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got the pace over the rest of them. It's up to him to try and make those positions back up as we jump on board now with Peter McIntyre. And down the hill towards Dunlop. So many cars, I'm losing track of what number is, which vehicle is, which colour is, which position on track here. Absolute plethora of vehicles tonight. Uh, it's a long season, we'll have, we have a few races to get used to it, before it all changes again. So, yeah, yeah it's still yeah, holding off board for now. Lovely sweeping shot, looks like a kind of panning helicopter shot there. <laughs> Through the Hudson, Hudson Bachbogen, Bogen, Hudson Bachbogen, absolutely into the yes. uh, the NG NGK chicane. <laughs> Heaping the pressure on to Stuart Gibbons there. Stuart doesn't crack though, manages to keep a nice line through the chicane and around the final corner. Junk up track and repair of them. Yeah, how it is generally quite good on traction. We found out of uh, corner exit last season, so probably Stuart will get the bit of the run, but then obviously. Uh, Ward is tucked into the slipstream. Is that Kelly pitting? Because we've already seen Parker in. So yeah, Kelly's gone for it as well there. I think that's strategy as well, or maybe some damage. Or I haven't seen any incidents with Kelly involved, so oh, probably big strategy. Was that Mike Murphy on a half a teammate there. They are uh, they're all Menardis, aren't they? But Mike Murphy is just teammate less, so runners as a solo. That's right. Yeah. He's a uh, Laura to himself. <laughs> I don't think he's, he's put. I don't think he's any any team this season or any other series. But he still wears the team colours, so he's kind of well, an honorary. Right saying he, he told all his teammates that he wouldn't really be running much the season, so they all sort of disowned him a bit, and then he, yeah, then he showed <laughs> stuck up. it first in the championship at DCR, and they were like, ah. Oh. And there's a there's a greening. 
a wild green and recaptured. Past the out over here. Minutes. Is it just going to make that stick? That was very um, opportunistic. Doesn't quite look like he's going to pull it off. That was, uh, yeah, almost a really nice move there from Innis. Joao Dome was just sort of caught on the outside of Greening. And then Innis nearly managed to capitalize. It's still might here. He's, uh, yeah, really showing the nose to Joao. But Joao stays ahead for now, speaking of. Got Ward and Gibbons side by side. Through the S's, up the hill. Looks like Ward's going to get this done. And is John going to be able to follow them through as well here? He's definitely got overlap. They are side by side going into this left hander. David Ward apex is nicely. Good amount of curb taken. Oh! Oh, it looks like it's it's contact. a bit wide. And yeah, Stuart managed to get a nose up the inside, but there's a bit of a biff. Probably would just that if I was Stuart. No, I was trying to give you that back, mate. You're starting to move this. It's quite hard for him to give it back now because there's two cars between them. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. It's, uh, it is difficult with that. Sometimes better safe than sorry, though, and just lose the couple of positions rather than maybe get a penalty, but yeah. It's like he's, Every, uh, he's redressed it. I appreciate that. That was some good bit of racing before that as well. I mean, he. he Defended from John basically by being on the bumper of, uh, of Ward there through the first uh, left. Um, and then obviously yeah, Ward went slightly the... wide and then there was a the contact. But that, that was a good defence, at least initially. <laughs> yeah, it sort of meant that John couldn't get took back into line because he was sort of parked out there, wasn't he? Like there was no space for him to pull back in, kind Indeed, of. Indeed. Yeah. yeah, good defence. Yeah, so it looked like Ward maybe got a little bit squarely on the kerb coming out of the left and then just settled in, or unsettled in a little bit for the right hander and just Very maybe made him check the ball a little bit more. Indeed. So I wonder if there'll be team orders now with Cook and Ward, with Ward being like the faster driver here. He's, uh, he's made up one place he's lost at the start, so he's still got three to go. Yeah, that's true, but am I right in saying that uh, Cook was Alex Murphy's teammate last season and I don't think change positions on the final lap of the final race which I think would have given Alex the title wow I didn't know that maybe he didn't know that <laughs> maybe not maybe not I I have a feeling that that is uh, that that's the case is that why they're not teammates <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> maybe so on board with Michael Hansvik here Michael uh, had a good show in last race as well I think he did have an incident in race 2 but in race 1 especially he had lots of pace um, and yeah, showing that again here today with the top five so far. Just remembered about Murphy's early pit strategy and just looking for him on the standards board there. So he's not made it back up to the top 23 so far. But that'll probably only work itself out once everyone else starts to pit. So maybe about the halfway mark. So a few minutes away from that so far. Some flashing going on from Henry Shepard on teammate Mark Kelly. Maybe he's encouraging, encouraging flashing maybe. <laughs> yeah, because you can't get as way with a bump draft. Uh, can't get away with it as much as you used to be able to, can you? So. No. The fastest lap from, from Brown, stretching that lead over Stephen yeah. Sumper. Uh, two or three tenths a lap. Yeah, it's just sort of those incremental gains, isn't it? Just chipping away, up to two seconds now. And the pair of them pulling away from what we saw the battle in, didn't we? Behind, to uh, yeah, now almost a five second gap to Cook in third there. It's a good showing for John Cook this race. He, um, he showed well last season, I think, but uh, I think the overall championship in the end maybe just came unstuck a couple of times and wasn't there right at the end. But uh, yeah, great start. This is kind of the drunk up you'd expect to see, if you like. Um, he is dropping down the order as we speak about him. So maybe swap positions with his teammate and uh, bits maybe just taking advantage of who we see them on screen. Everything's still pointing in the right direction, so maybe just a slide, maybe a bit of a mistake. Oh yeah, maybe just letting his teammate go. Yeah, a bit of an opportunist from Henswick, uh, which you can't say you wouldn't do. Yeah, 100%, like I said, it, it can be quite difficult to pass in these. You've got to take your opportunities when presented, so... Exactly. Well, Gibbons and Derek Crowther line of stern. So we've got, well, there is uh, Henswick in there in between the CXW cars, where it was almost running in team formation. That's right, yeah. Going almost 2 by 2 here. Uh, Alex Murphy, 29th, currently. Okay, so he's made it back up. 
a few positions then. He was 40 something, well, 41st, wasn't he? He was last place. Oh my goodness, that was really close on exit there. That was Kev Islet on the back of David Williams. It's a good showing for David. I know he's been putting some work into these cars, hasn't he, to try and uh, get a bit more pace out of them. So Kev's showing a bit of damage on the front there. Slightly bent front nose. Nose, even. These are also Green still well. close. Yeah. Greening, yeah. obviously, is, uh, he, he was a champion. Yes, TCR? season one TCR champion, yep. Yeah. 100%. He's going to look around the outside here on Stuart Gibbons. I think Stuart's probably going to tell him absolutely no chance, but uh, <laughs> God loves a tryer, so. Yeah, that looks like Yao is um, now in a position to maybe get a bit of a toe and have a go into the headband, but we'll see. You see. It just shows how much the TCR pace has moved on that uh, Greenland's come back in and he's fighting around 8th, 8th and 9th. Yeah, 100%. I, uh, I can't. I've got his. Yeah, he was qualified P10. I had a feeling he qualified a little bit lower than that, and uh, maybe made some position in the race. But no, he did qualify. Wait, no, so he's eight. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, made up a couple of positions. Um, but yeah, I, I, he's probably done the greening thing and shown up a minute to go before the session ends before qualifying. Or something as well, to be fair, me, so. That's pretty standard. Yeah, yeah, hasn't practiced. <laughs> Either way, good to see him on the grid. So indeed, welcome back. Welcome back, Sloth. SG. <laughs> yeah, indeed. It's another no. animal, isn't it? Etridge tonight? We've not got Etridge, have we? No. no, I didn't see any Etridges or Messengers. No. They're, they're not such fans of the front wheel drive. I remember a time when they'd all race anything. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The glory days. It's just, it's just like, he's all two eSports now, isn't he? Oh, yeah, Mr. Etridge. Mr. Etridge. Yeah. If it's not winning, uh, was it Assetek or Mosery won all the... We're in the wheelbase, didn't I? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Re really good for the sponsor, whoever sponsored the championship. <laughs> the marketing worked really well. I can't remember who it was. <laughs> Chris Barnes up 25 positions. That's Gigi. impressive. I mean, some have gone off and pitted early, but then, yeah, some of that's going to be position, fighting for position as well. Overtakes. Yeah, I think it was Maxwell who was behind there, so, uh, yeah, that's a good showing. That looks to be on, on pace and wreck avoidance and the good stuff going along with it so yeah great showing for him so far so Murphy's still in 29th uh, about half 10th behind Ross oh. Lukerst at the minute oh green and he's done a turkey oh dear how okay. did you manage that yes <laughs> that is the second one of those we saw um, gaining time illegally so that's basically not serving slowdown isn't it yeah I mean it comes up on the screen nice and big um, I won't deny that it goes up which is defying logic to me after you've slowed down it still can go back up again I don't know how that works but yeah it is quite obvious what you need to do to get rid of that <laughs> although we did see in the endurance round one was it Clayton didn't have the safety car information on his screen uh, yeah you can mess so, around with the UI and hide stuff so yeah so it wouldn't be beyond green in my opinion to not have the slowdown <laughs> visible that sounds like a green thing to do but yeah maybe just caught out there i think they've tweaked down there recently with the slowdowns where i think they've tried to make it so that the amount of time it initially tells you you've got to give back you do now actually have to give back but more often than not as you're driving along that tends to increase rather than decrease which so what, what, what do you want from us i racing so uh, miller in a porsche race get a slowdown for about half a second and it wasn't happening until they'd lost three and a half seconds so it's <laughs> not quite working as intended I wouldn't say yeah I mean so, I would say it surely has to come down if you're going slower than normal and then once you go back up to speed it should then start increasing it should hold <laughs> in my yes. head that's, that's, that's what logic tells me anyway uh, back yes. to the race um, so how are we doing it is currently leading silver with Charlecraft and Murphy on the podium. Uh, obviously Brown, Stevenson and Ward are the podium and overall and we don't see bronze on the tw top 20 at the moment. It looks like 21st is the first bronze car. Look at the track map. Ah yeah, excellent. Uh, last time I remember uh, Noton Kelly was in 23rd so yeah, a couple of positions. That might be from pit stops, we're just some green in uh, into the pits for that penalty. So makes sense that Kelly would have gained a couple more positions. We've got Tomei now with Chalcraft all over the back of him. Daniel Bond good showing here as well inside the top 10 right now. So he's actually the strongest of the llamas right now. Indeed. 
That's the fastest lap for Hanswick there. Taking lap from Brown. Yeah, closed up on Black Award there, so within sight inside a second window, so maybe a bit of slipstream helping him out there too. We've got the teammates going. Oh, <laughs> one goes wide. deep and wide and one goes shallow and inside, but it's gonna be around the outside trying for Derek Crowther around the outside of John Cook. And there's still a little bit of overlap going into the next corner, but just gonna get it turned in and he's gonna get the switch back. If the shot goes the other way, he's gonna get something finished. Great stuff. Yeah, just cover the inside here as Cook's looking to get an overlap on the outside. Well, there's potential for... Oh, uh, he's sliding back in. Well, I'd say there's a potential for Stewart to get the move done, but he's ended up way sideways on the grass instead. I'm not sure if he touched the grass maybe on turn and it's kicked the car sideways. I wasn't looking to this, I was looking at the relative just to see the quick gaps going into the corner, but uh, yeah, Stewart's dropped a couple of positions there now. I was thinking that maybe um, Derek was going to be able to hang Cook out a little bit and then Stewart's going to be able to capitalise and sneak up the inside as well, so a bit of um, teammate helping each other out. Yeah, Stuart went for a drift instead. Okay, so Meesters is currently in Union Bronze, this is in 19th, so I'm guessing he Oh, we saw Kelly Pitt, Pitt, didn't we? Yeah. We I was looking at Chow Tomi as well, it's like he's wearing a, wa a waifu squad um, livery. He's supposed to be in Wizard Rose Gold, and we'll have to check to Marion, talk to Marion and make sure he's got liveries for that team. Well, we saw the rebellion from Tua and uh, Charlie last, last we season, did. didn't we? So. Clearly the Wizards have uh, been casting a few too many spells, they've got a bit too powerful and they're just running amok. Run out of liveries. <laughs> Maxwell is holding up, running a very old Wizards livery. He's, yeah, I believe running an adaptation of the Season 1 of the TCR. I think that was the first Wizards livery, in fact. It's history as uh, one of the top five coming in now. That's Crowther dropping down the order, so in is up to 6th now overall, great stuff. Yeah. Have we seen a gap he's going to drop into or not? Because there's a lot of cars kind of all yeah. equally spread out. I'm just wondering where he's going to come back out. Yeah, I don't think there really is a gap, is there? I think, in a way, you just kind of got to um, hit and hope. Oh, indeed. Just pray that when you're coming back out that you're going to land in a gap, and if you're not in a gap, that the car that you land behind is hopefully the pace that you can get past quickly, or just tow behind. Yeah, if you come out behind someone similar pace to you and... Uh, and just use their toe. That's also good. Christopher Evans here, new to the LO8. Behind, I think that was Scott Malcolm, also new, so looks like some good dice in between them both. Yeah. Uh, a flurry of cars into pit lane. I guess this is Even about racing. The halfway. Oh, it's side by pits. side on pit exit. A bit of contact there. That was close to crossing the uh, crossing the white line there for Chelcraft. No, that would be Zach, wouldn't it? Leibold. Yeah. So Zach managed to hold or take that position on the way out. I can't remember how they went in, so I can't say if that's been a pass in the pits or not. Chalcroft way out wide on the exit of T2. So there's Kelly then. So is he back into the bronze lead? Or is he, no, he's in 12th now, so yeah, climbing up that stack as well. The longer he goes into the race. So Kelly has got Maxwell to deal with. Yeah, he was behind Maxwell earlier, so I wonder... The um, undercut him, or if Maxwell's had an issue. Hopefully, it's not a continuation of the Maxwell curse from last season. Oh, they did seem to shake that towards the end of the end of the year, didn't they? So, indeed. Fuller as well also is. was running um, behind Kelly up before the stops, so it looks like he's come up behind him as well. Yeah, I so saw on the track map, Fuller just sort of pulled off to one side for a second and then stopped, and then just carried on. So, I'm not entirely sure what the uh, what the story is there. Something was loose maybe. I saw somebody yeah, like in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all four leaders are coming in. No. Oh. All six. Seven. Eight. Seven. Eight. <laughs> I guess we ran nine, out of fuel. <laughs> Barnes. Ten. Okay, so it's pit stop time then. That's what we're saying here. Looks like Kelly, uh, is Kelly was a in. bit... Yeah, it looked like he was... He hadn't slowed down enough and nearly hit something there. Or has he done the old classic where he's thought the pit line was somewhere it's not? That would be interesting. Parker number 273. To everyone's 273. Okay, let's go, SDK. <laughs> <laughs> Just You're doing great. <laughs> okay, so the leader's back out of the pits then, so it's still John Brown, but that gap has massively come down. 
Yeah, he must have had a bad stop there. He had a four second lead over Stevenson. It's now down to four tenths. Well, we're into sniffing distance. That is mega close as we've got Parker, who has still got 26 on the side. We're going to be three wide into the corner here. That's going to oh. be Telecraft on the outside. Pinch. Looks like Tomei's come off worse from that in the middle. Looks like Chalkoff kind of cut down as if they were only two wide. I'm not sure if he didn't know they were three wide or not. Probably will have got the call quite late on, but uh, yeah, the car on the inside. I'm not, not sure how it ended up being another drag race down the pit exit there, but uh, yeah, sadly that time someone comes unstuck. So Kelly up in 50 is now back in the bronze lead. That's right. That's well behind him. In fact, Chelcraft is just in front of Kelly there. So I think Chelcraft is second in silver. So Kelly is either leading bronze or is third in silver. I'm not sure which he'd prefer to be. <laughs> uh, he'd probably be happy to be 15th in gold. Okay, cool. Let's go with that then. So <laughs> Kelly 15th in gold. Chelcraft. Oh no, Murphy snuck up there. I wondered if he was hiding in the uh, in the gap that we couldn't see. Uh, there there he, he is. All over the back of John Cook here. So John seemed to have fallen down a little bit through the race as, uh, as it's gone on. Qualified in P3, but uh, yeah, in the race it's not quite come together for him. Well, still yeah. a good showing, don't get me wrong, still top 10. It's still uh, a mega race so far for him. But, Maybe he's yeah, had an off uh, we didn't see because, like you say, I mean, he was up there with his teammate and he let him pass at um, the start. Well, we think. We didn't actually see it, did we? It might have been a mistake, but uh, yeah, it might have been a, a multi-21. But uh, look at P5, Jules. It's a Murphy. <laughs> so yeah, he's back where he uh, he's back where he qualified. Yeah, did he come in from P6 or did he come in from P5? I can't remember now. I think he was sixth one because he yeah, got, was... uh, got in front of him. So yeah, for the early pit, all those laps by himself, he's got a net gain of... Green and who has <laughs> Oh well. Still, personal best. Yeah, still plenty of pace in the car then. It was uh, going to be interesting to see if the tyres gave out running on the heavy fuel load versus the rest, but uh, yeah, it seems to be fine. We've got Ward now looking around the outside of Stevenson. We've seen this move done already once today. Plenty of room given between them. Stevenson cuts back wide to take the line, but Ward's going to continue around the outside. They're probably going to be side by side into the next right hander, and David Ward's got the inside, but they're still side by side. Not the same as what we saw earlier when the move was done by that point, so they're going to be side by side as we go down towards the next turn, which I think will be turn four. And Stevenson slots back in in front. They continue as they were. Meanwhile, Maxwell has given all the attention to Kelly's rear end. And it looks like Tomei is joining on the back after that earlier being squeezed into the uh, T1. He's looking behind him. Buller has closed about a second since the last look, so he came to join this battle as well. Oh no, Philip Miles with the same issue that we've seen a couple of times already. I must be in the pits for good Double measure. Double whammy. It's not his How'd day. How do you like your penalties? I'll take two of them, please. <laughs> okay. Maxwell and Kelly still battling away. Uh, Maxwell's actually got overlap this time, so it's the drag up the hill towards the shell curve. Chicane. Yeah, indeed. I'm sure this is going to end well. Plenty of room given on the way in. Plenty of room given in the middle. Plenty of room on exit. Nicely done. Very nice stuff. And like they remain. Gonna get this. Yeah, Maxwell has got that done nicely. Very nice job. As we've got Ward now again alongside Stevenson heading down, I think, towards the. Uh, even faster she gain. It is near the end of the lap. There's a bit of a corner cut. I think Stevenson there. You've got to be careful that wasn't a slowdown, but Ward has got that finish. Nicely done. He'll be kicking himself after that poor start in this one, I guess. Indeed, well, but he has still... Quite make out what he was saying, though. It does sound like he's in a bathtub. <laughs> I was going to say, he's still got 16 minutes and three and a half seconds. It's going to be a tough ask, but he, like you say, he did qualify fastest tonight, so... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's tricky. The Elantra can generally be done with the, uh, with the double clutch, which should just be a dump and run kind of job, but if you just got that even 1% wrong on the clutch, it can just wheel spin, so I'd assume that's what happened to him, as opposed to just missing the flag. Missing the green flag. But yeah, either way, good recovery from where we saw him, sort of fifth or sixth on the opening lap. So the Battle of the Llamas, it is still Bond taking that one from his teammate. In the Battle of the Animals overall, it looks like the Aburi Phoenix in 7th from 
Camel in eighth. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any more animals above that. The sloth of greening got going again. Back in 20 something. Yes, I, I just saw him a minute ago, he's still got intervals. Oh, what on earth has gone on? This is T1, isn't it? This is on the exit of. I'm not sure what's going on there. There's Simon Norton just rejoining the track, and I think that was uh, Ross Lucas going to replay here. Oh, he's on, on the grass. He's on the grass and breaking. Oh, oh no. he's gone bowling. That was a weird one because it looked out of shape before he actually made it to the grass. Like the car seemed to kind of spear across the track on the brakes and then yeah. put them on the grass, which then made it even worse. And uh, you just said about Green and rejoining us, it was almost clicked in that incident there. Nice. So we've got John Cook defending from Mike Murphy. I think because John Cook lost in the position there. I think it was eighth, wasn't it, the last time we were speaking about him? Yeah, Mark Innes is now in front. Great showing for Innes. He will tell us that uh, Nerve is one of his best slash favourite tracks. So, uh, was it the F3 that he was particularly pacey here as well? Yeah, he was going well at um, so, Philip as well, though, to be fair. He yeah, was say, I'll just cross eighth. my fingers that this is this is just pace as opposed to him, uh, him claiming track speciality. Um, Great showing. I've got to say, Barnes has probably pitted, hasn't he? He's up like 28 places on this. <laughs> yeah, we, we noted Chris earlier, like, was it 24 at the point we were talking about him? Up 24. Um, and just seem to have continued on with that march so yeah maybe we need to get a, a pov from his race it'll be like you know the old need for speed challenges and that we're just cutting <laughs> through traffic 28 places gay yeah, that's mega i wonder if he's done like a, a last to first challenge just for the for the fun it looks like it yeah daniel bond is doing well here for the former llama but he's got so much pressure behind him yeah and, uh, exactly bald there and Audi sandwich, so clinging on with the Civic. Um, Murphy will be the highest Civic up there. That's not an unusual phrase to say, is it? Murphy high up. So. No. The Murphy effect, TM. Yeah. So it hasn't really got away from Kerry, and I'm surprised Yao is actually still behind him, but here we go. Buller has now caught this battle, making it four way battle. Yeah, really opened up that T3 as well. Good to see his line there. Really hugged tight on the left hander just to open up that right hand and get right in the power. Looks like such a boat in comparison to the Civic, doesn't it, the Audi? Like, it's just so long. <laughs> well, to be fair, from that angle, they actually look the same length, but you know for a fact they're not. The Civic's a tiny little thing, like the velocity of it. Like a bit of pressure on here from uh, from Derek. Down to three tenths, the gap. So maybe, maybe, maybe Murphy haven't pitted so early. Maybe his tyres are just uh, starting to come towards the end of their life. He's got, well, still over 10 minutes to go. So it'll be a, a long, gruelling battle to the finish for him. But let's see if he can hold on. Here we are with Barnes that we were speaking about him then. Pressure on the back of uh, Zach Leibold. Put ahead to Murphy, who's just got past John Cook, so that puts John down. Still top ten, so still a good result. But yeah, listen to the position there to Mike. Oh, David John Brown just set the purple, but and it was immediately taken away by Ward. Interesting. So absolutely ding dong at the front. That gap has, uh, I think, opened up a bit, hasn't it? Since Slightly, Ward yeah. But uh, he was first to that. Um, I mean, Stevenson's also all over the Ward, like within the second window. So. I guess Ward has probably still got more eyes in the mirror than he has out the front windscreen, so yeah. it makes sense that that gap would be opening up. So barreling down to T1 yet again. The one line stern in the battles that we've seen so far. Cook is not letting Murphy go anywhere after that move. No, the light like just gone. Get back up again. I mean, it's been it's been a good recovery from from Murphy. We saw him a long way down in qualifying, uh, down in 17th. Um, but also doesn't seem to have shown the pace that we saw from Philip Island, where he's you know sort of I'd like to say clearly the fastest car at that track. So Be interesting to see how he goes. Of, yeah, in yeah, the next race yeah. at, uh, at Brands. But then Brands is a very short that, short track. Um, yes. So I'm hoping that it's going to be very close. Yeah, hopefully not too close, hopefully uh, not too much contact and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, interesting to see if it was just kind of a the, the track speciality thing again uh, for Murphy at Phillip Island, or if this is sort of the opposite and maybe it's a track that doesn't like as much. Either way, he's managed to get it back up to a top 10 and second in class, so 
good ball in that regard as well. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of a, from the cow. Yeah, I think that must have been a tiny little bit of a bum sniff there, just to get it unsettled through the fastest part there. That was uh, Buller just behind Tomei. He's got them side by side now going through the left hander. And Tomei might make the stick, you know, he's going to be on the inside for the right. I think I just said the last corner was a right, it's not, it's a left. Oh, Ken's gone wide. Yeah, it was a bit of foreshortening the on the camera there, wasn't it? Um, so Yao wasn't quite as long side, but then Kelly went wide onto the uh, gravel. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And now I think they are going to be side by side as they go down Through to the Vidal chicane. chicane. Who's going to give up? No one. Oh, yeah, Kelly looked like he uh, breaked just that little bit early. Buller's going to get through as well there. So I think Kelly's probably a little bit more focused on his bronze lead than he is necessarily the oh, overall. Shepard as well. Where did he come from? <laughs> <laughs> It was a couple of seconds off the spell, but yeah, suddenly he's there. I, say, I didn't even see him in the camera shot. I didn't even factor that he was going to be a, a component in that one. But uh, yeah, Kelly's just lost three positions in a, in a sector there, unfortunately. I haven't looked at the outside going back into T1, but uh, nothing really doing there. But Tomei's gone wide, and that's going to allow Buller through. So that'll be 16 for Buller. Tomei will kick himself after just putting all that work, all that pressure on the back of Kelly. Because we've got a replay, a bit of contact there, oh that was Shepard in the back of Tomei so was Buller already in front then at that point not sure, time. we'll figure that one out in time, <laughs> time stuff happened yes, yes indeed so we've got Murphy from Crowther going into the Dunlop Shepard I really want to call it Dunlop Chicane, where is the Dunlop Chicane I guess Le Bon isn't it yeah. It's not the chicane. Dunlop hair. <laughs> but they are still line of stern. In fact, the top sort of five, six, seven, I think, are line of stern since they came out of the pit. So no changes towards the top there. It's this midfield where the battle is really hot and open. We've got now Shellcraft all over the back of Chris Barnes. What's like the opposite of plummeting like a stone? Chris Barnes. That, that's, <laughs> that's the opposite. Rising loud. Hot okay, table. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, making yeah. his way, marching up the order. Yeah, he's still pressuring to gain more places. He, he may yet go higher. And he's looking for a cross over, going down towards the uh, slower of the fascia canes. And that might have just wrong footed Murphy a little bit on exit. Barnes has not quite got the overlap. Oh, he has! Murphy left in the space just in case, and uh, yeah. Time for a Rather drag said, race. I'll take a little bit of that, thank you. Sticks his nose in, runs him side by side. They're going to be, yeah, like you say, drag racing down the pit straight here, but I think it's probably going to be Crowder that gets it. It looks like Parker's pushing Murphy, though. So I must fancy the run around the outside rather than chucking it up the inside. Everyone survives, so that's good. It's still going to be side by side around the exit of T1. It looks like Crowder's going to get this swept across, though, and get the move finished off. Oh, Murphy's just clinging in, though. It's not quite enough that he can just forcefully shut the door, but, yeah, it looks like that move is done. Got Kelly has made the position back on Shepard here, dropped to 19th, but now back up to 18th. Although this can be side by side as well, is it? Shepard's looking for a cutback, which he gets. <laughs> they continue side by side around T2. We've seen this move done already a few times, but Kelly's going to keep the momentum on the inside line and they've tucked back in. So Murphy down a position, Kelly up a position, and they march oh. on. Is he down again? No, still side by side. <laughs> I was say maybe Murphy's tyres are crying. So that's uh, going to be Parker looking to capitalise on that as he's only a tenth behind Murphy. It's, uh, it looks like Shepard. Very Shepherd's tight! <laughs> Kelly seems to tight. like going through that fast chicane <laughs> next to people. Yeah, brave. Very brave and bold, but Shepard has got that move back pass. I think the, uh, they ended up side by side, did it through T4, and I think that just compromised Kelly's exit so much that, it's, uh, yeah, Shepard was a good way alongside. Going into the Valvoline curve. This is a place lost for Murphy here, do you think? Parker get the run on him. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look, oh, look much momentum going on at the moment, so. Uh, yeah, okay, it's about that gap, and a half. Yeah, the gap seemed pretty consistent, it wasn't really closing up, but uh, yeah, Derek's running away a little bit there. Certainly, Murphy was holding up. Derek there. Yeah, I think maybe cock in the bottle effect for Murphy Ooh. there, so... Purple for Parker Ward. And he has taken about half a second out of that lead, but he has yeah, only he five has. minutes to go. Yeah, last time I remember looking at that one, it had gone up to almost four seconds, so yeah. 
Ward is turning the screw towards the end of the race here. We've got five minutes left to go. Uh, probably about three laps. We'd need to do a second a lap, which is maybe a bit of a stretch. But uh, yeah, good to see at least taking the fastest lap point as it stands. Yeah, and all you can do really is keep the pressure on. Almost. Ooh, a little bit of a sniff there. A little that bit of a Chris rub. Barnes, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. First time we've seen a bit of uh, nose to rear contact in this race. Sorry, Zach. Hopefully, it won't be the last either. Probably Apology. not, especially in the season. Mm. Off track, Parker off track, and then in his off track, I think, one after the other just there, so I'm not sure which part of the track they're on. It's like just going down towards the Dunlop, hair, Dunlop hairpin as we've got side by side here. Is this Stevenson? No. Must be Stevenson's That's teammate. Great. Well, that might have been the lap reaction, in fact, is it? Stevenson's up towards... Well, he's up in P3, isn't he? I'm sure that's the same paint job, though. Too many new cars and too many new faces. <laughs> We've got some side-by-side -side here in Dunlop. Parker and Murphy. There's a little bit of door bang on the way out. Looks like these two are about to go side-by-side -side through the fast uh, chicane as well. Again, plenty of space given. Oh, a little bit less space given there, but plenty again on exit, and that Howard is just going to pull by the looks of it heading up the hill. And Murphy tucks back into line. So that's seventh for Murphy, Parker up to eighth, and Innes still sniffing around both of them there. Yeah, nicely really done for Parker, and you come, you got to say that Innes is going to fancy a bit of that next as uh, Murphy really rags those tyres to the end. Yeah, it's one of them sort of smelling blood in the water, isn't it? When you see a car that's now lost two positions, is now parked in front of you, you think, hmm, go on then, I'll have a bit of that. Indeed. Oh, Brown has responded at the top. Pulled out a couple of tenths that lap. So they're still like trading lap times. This is excellent at the front there. Just a shame about that um, that start that Ward had. Otherwise, this could have been a ding dong battle between them and race. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so sort of gives us optimism going into the rest of the season. We do have Innis there. He is. He's going to try around the outside into the airpin. Murphy's Thinking actually out. trying oh. to... <laughs> oh, that <laughs> almost looked like a vortex moment. It did. <laughs> Parker ran well wide. I think he was probably quite scared there of turning in. Somehow Murphy managed to stay ahead of Innes. Yeah, so someone must have got a really good or a really bad run out of the final corner there to have uh, caused that situation. Looks like Green and maybe throwing in the towel at this point. He's got penalty repairs required. Yes. So that's to go with his... Uh, not serving the slowdown earlier. I'm not sure why it says best lap up there, because it doesn't actually say what the best lap is. And I'm pretty sure some of them must have managed a legal lap, because they don't have 45 incident points. SDK. Yeah. Oh, oh he's just turning around. All the way round. Oh, and then Mises gets turned in sympathy as well. Oh, that just seemed to come out of nowhere there. That was pretty uh, harmless going into the corner, and then just suddenly everyone stacked up and there was two cars facing the wrong way. Yeah, I mean, you'd think that this was two minutes to go, the cars would be fine now, everybody would have got used to it, but yeah, this incident, when you least expect it. Yeah, I guess it's one of those getting towards the, uh, you sometimes find it, don't you, especially the officials, the other mentality is you come towards the white flag, but you can you can send anything and it's fair game because it's the white flag lap. <laughs> it's also quite a long race uh, in the limit of adhesion, isn't it? Uh, especially also for this sprint series, so it could be at the end of the race, a bit of fatigue setting in. Yeah, maybe a bit of brain fade. Um, I'm not suggesting as well either that that was a gung-ho final lap move, but uh, just comparing it to some um, it's not like incidents it was like we a, may have had indeed. along the way. It was like two cars, three cars involved, rather than 20 into T1 where you expect the incidents to happen. Yeah, true. Gavin, I'm sorry, I have to slow Looking back on it, T1 was a uh, particular thing in this race, which was nice to see with 41 I'm, boxes taken to the I'm grid. so sorry! What a shepherd <laughs> apologise for sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he sounds generally like absolutely gutted, so I'm not sure what's happened there. Maybe get a replay as we've got uh, Mises there being overtaken by Todd. Uh, it's going to go side by side. There's almost door handle action. Todd's backed out of that one, so there's no, I don't fancy it. So Mises holds there's on. no way that's how that battle ended. Let's go. I'll shepherd about this. It's not over yet, there's still a lap to go. Oh, you didn't need to do that, Chris. I'm trying to save a little bit of fuel, don't worry. No. Forest is low on fuel, interesting. He chose to make me feel a bit less reasonable pace. 
yeah, potentially, or maybe just uh, miscalculated slightly. Not the easiest things to fuel save. And what's uh, Cars Forester? Has he gone Civic again this season? There's the Audi for his teammate. I don't think he raced at Phillip Island. We've not had much screen time for Forrester here today, so I don't know if he's oh. ahead, but uh, no clutch in now as well, which makes fuel saving even harder. And that is a <laughs> indeed. It's going to say it looked like Murphy got Innes there, but Innes has held him off. Yeah, for now. no. That, that looked then like a send from Innes, didn't it? But I think it's actually defending from Murphy. As, yeah, uh, no, yeah, Murphy. Had, other Murphy uh, scampers away. Murphy had got a better exit and managed to get alongside, and yeah, Innes held his nerve and held the position. When we first cut to it, I thought that was. Um, Meast as his teammate making the move on Todd, but yeah, quickly realised it was actually Innes who's gone from sniffing around the back of A Murphy to being under threat from M at Murphy. So it's uh, a Murphy sandwich. <laughs> That's how you want to be. But... It's an Innes sandwich with Murphy bread. That's true, I always get that the wrong <laughs> way around, but we do have checkered flag on the screen, and hopefully, we're going to cut towards John Brown on debut, taking the victory here at the Nürburgring. Right, well Apparently not. But yes, well done to John Brown. First Game race in the other second. way. Stevenson on debut in P3 there, and Hansvik making up for last on. week, or last race, sorry, with P4. And Dick Crowder there, hey, good out the top the five. Fun. Parker the and Mercy with the other strats. Six and seven from right Innes taking the silver victory from Murphy. That was, yeah, I'd not clocked, that was the silver win, wasn't it, on the line on the final lap? Yeah. So probably why the camera operator chose to stay with them rather than watching Brown. Follow or like go across the line with a three and a half second lead. So great work between those guys for the silver win. And here we've got Kelly about to cross the line. No flashes, he's not too fussed. <laughs> Another bronze victory for him. I think that was the fastest lap of hand. Yeah, as well. So clean sweep for Kelly. So yeah, that silver battle has just spiced up nicely. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how the uh, the stand is out. So there they are, let's cross the line, we won't run through them again because we pretty much did that as they went over, only to say that John Brown in the end did capture the fastest lap point, but David Ward of course got the whole position point, so a bonus point apiece for the leading two. Ben Chalcraft was third in silver, and Innes was not marked in silver on this uh, standard board just then, but no, he is silver. Kelly, like we said, was bronze winner have to keep scrolling for P2. I think it'll be uh, Rich Mises one that's from what we saw earlier in the race. Oh, it's Pepper. Nice job for Steve Pepper. Again, didn't really see much on screen today, but uh, yeah, just quietly went about his business. And it'd be three for Meesters from Dan LaHaye, who we saw sideways in the hairpin. And Chris Forrester, whose car is still unknown to me. <laughs> <laughs> in fifth place there for bronze. Philip Miles in sixth. And I think that's it for the uh, for the bronze category, yeah, because everyone else is a new joiner. Kishkar looks to have had a bad race again today. We didn't see it on screen, but uh, yeah, must have retired early on. Indeed. Let's see what that does to the championship standings. Hopefully. Now we've got some penalties to, uh, to delve into first, so Kishkar was penalised with no change, I guess because he exited. Uh, a few ten seconds there, there's a big position drop for Parker by the looks of it. So Six not to sure 30. what that was for, we didn't see anything major did we? Uh, I imagine that was probably the, yeah he had one contact I recall. Uh, but yes, so what's that done? David Ward is out in front. Mike Murphy, <laughs> it's Murphy, <laughs> second place, and also in silver in first place. What else is here? Bronze leader Kelly, tying with John Cook. That's a surprise to see. Oh, John Cook had an issue at Phillip Island as well, to be fair, didn't he? I remember him spinning off the final corner on the grass, you know, down the pit straight. Yeah, yeah, so that thing, uh, yeah, it's like it saved it and then it just threw him into the wall. Yeah, so I guess that's probably just meaning that he's probably used one of his drops already. But three out of the ten will be drop rounds in this season, so plenty of time to make up for that. Yeah, based on today's show, and I'd expect to see Cook a mighty rise for the rest of the season. I believe this standings board is going to be everyone that's raced, so we've got 47 cars have joined us so far for this season. Only two rounds deep. How did Greening not get any points for that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're pointing down to points down to 25, and uh, I think he DNF'd in uh, yeah, so. he did. That's right. Yeah. 
unfortunate for him. So in the team standings, this is what we've got. We've got uh, CXW or C by W leading the way. Formula Lama there in second place after the penalty for Parker. And Aguri now in third. A camel, something I didn't see in time. Then we've got Minardi, Ignium, Wizards Black, Wizards Fire, Blade. Team SR65, Madworks, McLaren, no slots, no glory. Two guys, one car, that is uh, Shepard and Kelly's new team. Kraken, Wizard Gold, Woe's Gold. Camel's Grey, Tart, Speed Eagles, QRS haven't raced, Cool Camel Blue I think have raced, MMPR haven't raced, Triple P and Mellow, not sure off the top of my head who's in those teams, but they are still pointless as it stands. I'll give you a fiver if QRS races. It's not a bet that either of us need to take. <laughs> we already know the answer to that one. Uh, so, that was a race. Any uh, any final thoughts? Yeah, let's bring on Brands. Brands Hatch, three races, 15 minutes each. Uh, reverse grid based on qualifying and reverse grid based on championship current standings, as I understand. Absolutely, yeah. In the opposite order, but yeah, first race will be based on uh, reverse championship. The random draw is top six, so I think that puts Innis on board, is it, off the top of my head? Cranky. Yeah. And then, yeah, the second two no races pressure. will be quality based and then reverse grid from there. So, yeah, plenty of action, I'm sure, to come next time out at Brands Hatch. So, a reminder if you've enjoyed the show, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Feel free to drop us a comment, especially the races, if you've got anything to update us on that happened that we might not have seen on screen. Check out the website as well, that's www.limitofadhesion.com. And yeah, come and join the Discord if you want to come and get involved. If you're watching, thinking that looks like absolute manic fun, and I fancy a piece of that, the link to the Discord will be down below. You can get you signed up. And uh, yeah, we can go from there. Anything else from you, Jules? Nah, I think that's it. So, Excellent. Let's see you next time. Indeed. See you all later. Bye.